Engage Mobile was recently named one of the 20 most promising enterprise mobility companies in the country by CIOReview.com. And among the local tech companies' big projects right now, a big gaming app for football fans. Also, Engage Mobile is working with uh, beta testing and development for Google Glass. Joining me in studio right now, Matthew Barksdale, president of Engage Mobile. Uh, happy to talk about the company's growth. Good to have you in studio. Great to be here. Thanks. Thanks for joining me. So what do you think uh, you've been doing that's been leading to all this attention? Yeah, I mean, our approach is really radically different than most other companies because most companies, when you go to them, they will basically build a product for you. And we can do that, but our approach is radically different because we're all about business results. We are business people. Um, My partner, Darren Clawson, he basically started all the mobile efforts at Cerner more than 13 years ago. So we've been involved with mobile since the very beginning, you know, five or six years before the iPhone. So in essence, our approach is all about helping our clients succeed. And because we take that unique approach and we don't just build apps, um, we're starting to get a lot of traction both uh, here in Kansas City and across the country. Well, let's talk about this football gaming app. It sounds like a lot of fun, and uh, I'm sure you're hoping it catches on. Yeah, it's, it's a huge deal for Engage Mobile. So our partner is actually a Kansas City native that now lives in California. His name is Chris Austin. And essentially, um, it is words with friends meets football. So essentially, it's an asynchronous game. I call my offensive play. You call a defensive play. We run an odds table. And and it's not just a couple guys coming up at this. We have advisors at both the high school and college level on every play, on all the odds tables, how it works. So it is probably the most realistic in terms of a strategy football game that's going to be available. And you can go back to the game on your time. In other words, so, so you do a play and then, and then your partner. I mean, that's the way that, that the Words with Friends kind of works is that you can play it on your time. Yep. So it, it's an asynchronous game to where you can have you know, one or 20 games going at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it's based upon the odds of that specific play. And you can check out the website at uh, playversusfootball.com, that's P-L-A-Y-V-S football.com, and the app will be coming out sometime between the second and third week of the NFL season, so very exciting. And you can get it Apple Store, Google Play, everywhere, or where can you get it? Yeah, when it comes out, it'll be available on both the iOS platform and Android, and we are heavily testing right now. Cool. Okay, so now what about uh, your involvement with Google Glass? Yeah, Google Glass is very, very interesting. So we started working with Google roughly 60 days ago, um, both in terms of testing the class, but also developing apps. Because the product, we got ours, you know, roughly two to three months ago, um, but the product's not going to be available to consumers until next year. So when it comes out, they want to make sure there's software available. So we've been working with groups everywhere from, you know, leaders in education to leaders in construction to leaders in healthcare to really determine not just Google Glass, but this whole issue of wearable computing, um, you know, the iWatch, the Samsung Watch, Google Glass, just how is that going to transform industries and how can companies use that to drive their businesses? I think uh, a lot of people look at the, the pictures of, of uh, people wearing Google Glass and think, you know, you, you don't kind of walk down the street uh, in those glasses, but that's not really what it's intended for, right? It's not for everyday consumer use as much as it's going to be used for um, business applications, or do you see it being used broadly? What do you think? Yeah, I think the way to look at it, it's really the bag cell phone of cell phones. It is an early first-generation prototype, and for all practical purposes, there are only 8,000 of them. So imagine how far cell phones have come from that initial bag phone to the current-day iPhone and Android, and I think we're going to see that type of development around this wearable technology. It's going to get smaller, faster, better. So it's all about having access to information um, when you want it, how you want it. And Google Glass is just another way to access that information. So how has uh, your experience been? Uh, The technology itself is really interesting and actually quite fantastic because it's literally like you have an HD monitor, you know, up above you, you know, up up above your right eye that you can look up and access at any time. Fantastic quality. Um, It's a little wonky. It's... uh, it's very odd looking. So there's no question that it's not quite ready for prime time. Mm-hmm. We're looking at several different applications that we think are going to be fantastic. Everything from, you know, medicine to golf. So 
there's a lot of different applications for it. There was a surgery performed using Google Glass this week, correct? Or some medical procedure. I don't know if you followed that or not. Yeah. So that's definitely, it's really perfect for any type of application to where you use your hands and you need to have access for information, um, but you don't have a hand available. So construction, medicine, all those type of things to where you need to access information, but you can't do it with your hands. Very cool. So let's talk about Kansas City um, and its emergence as a tech hub. We hit this theme a lot um, on Tech Circuit, and you were a guest uh, this month on our program. Appreciated you joining us. Uh, what do you think about Kansas City's uh, emerging you know, presence as a tech hub? Do you um, believe the city can live up to all these expectations? Yeah, I think it's actually quite fantastic. We definitely have um, the seeds and the momentum going. Now it's an issue of execution. So ideas are great, but now it's an issue for these entrepreneurs to really buckle down and make things happen. Um, it's great to meet and talk about it, but what really matters and what's really going to separate Kansas City from the rest of, of the country is if these great ideas turn into great companies. And we're definitely, I, I think we're having an impact with Engage Mobile of having an impact across the country, and we just need other companies in Kansas City to have that more national impact, and that's really what's going to separate Kansas City. And We've got a great beginning. we just got to execute now. You're talking about B2C, and uh, there's been a lot of talk that the, the Kansas City as an emerging tech hub plays more into the B2B um, development, but but what Engage Mobile doing is, is doing is really more um, playing to the broader market. Yeah, it, it's both. Probably 60 70% of what we do right now is B2C, and that's really from – you know, myself, Darren, and then Steve Temperley, the other major player at Engage, our backgrounds are really with businesses and helping businesses succeed. So our core is B2B, but there's definitely tremendous potential with, with the rapid adoption of, of mobile technology, tremendous opportunity in the B2C space, which is why we're seeing things like versus football coming to life because um, there's amazing things you do with the technology. And uh, tell me more about Engage Mobile, how long you've been around, how you got started. Yeah, so Engage Mobile has been around for three years, founded by my business partner, Darren Clausen, who is really a pioneer in the space. Um, literally been developing well before iPhone and Android back in the, the Palm Pilot and the iPad days. So he has been living this future state of mobile really since the very beginning. And, and, and we've got you know a little less than 10 people in Kansas City now and have people we work with, contractors all around the world, because we're so different in that if you develop – say, iOS, iPhone apps, everything you look at is an iOS app. So you're trying to jam everybody down that path. What we do is step back, look really what our clients are trying to achieve, what are they trying to solve, and really what is the best technology to do that with. So maybe it's not a mobile app. Maybe it, it, it's some other type of technology, but we're not about building mobile apps. We're about helping our clients achieve business success, and we just happen to do that with mobile. And uh, what kind of growth do you see for Engage Mobile? Yeah, so we've had, you know, triple-digit growth um, the last couple years, and we'll definitely do that again this year, and we definitely anticipate that next year. Um, so we're definitely getting fantastic traction both in Kansas City and across the country. And because we're on this this surge of, of mobile doing well also, and then our unique approach, we really see a tremendous success for our company in the, in the near future. What trends are you keeping the closest tabs on? Um, so twofold. One is there was this tremendous hype about mobile, you know, a few years ago. And that's what everybody's talking about. A and we see that once the hype dies down a lot, that really that's when the real business is done. So we're well beyond, hey, let's build an app. Let's just do something because we're all about we want to solve business problems. So first of all, the, the main thing we're focused on is to really look at how the market's evolving to really focusing on solving real world problems. The other thing is we're also kind of on the forefront of technology with wearables and that type of thing. So there's no question that wearable computing is, is coming and it's going to be here to stay. So we are on the very leading, bleeding edge of that um, because essentially that's just how our company operates. So it's like we have, you know, three quarters of our business is focused on this real world, making things happen for clients. And then there's like a quarter of it that's focused on what is the future like to make sure that we are going to be in a position to help our clients in the future. 
All right. We'll leave it at that. Matthew Barksdale is president of Engage Mobile joining me in studio today. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Have a great day.